Welcome to the example of time and work. Andy can do a piece of work in six days. Ben can do the same work in three days. How long would both of them take to do the same work? So let's consider a situation where you have this log of wood in your yard and you want to get it painted. So this is the piece of work that needs to be done. Now you reach out to a contractor whose name is Andy and you show him this log of wood and say how much time will he take to paint this. And Andy says that he'll take six days to complete the work. Now six days is not acceptable to you. So you reach out to another contractor, which is Ben. And you show him the same log of wood and say, Hey Ben, how much time are you going to take to paint this log of wood? Ben evaluates the work and gives you a quote of three days. Now even three days is not acceptable to you. You want to get it done faster than that. So then you think that what if I take both of them, that is Andy and Ben, and ask them to work on this log of wood. How much time will it take for both of them to do the same work? So Andy can do one piece of work in six days while Ben can do one piece of work in three days. Now in order to find out how much time will it take if both of them work on the same log of wood. We have to first convert each of these in unit terms, which is how much work can each of them do individually per day. So what we have to find out is amount of work that each of them can accomplish per day. So in case of Andy, one piece of work can be done in six days. So one can be done in six days. So how much can be done in one day? So here we will cross multiply. So 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 6 multiplied by x or x is equal to 1 by 6. So in one day Andy will be able to cover one sixth of this log. So 1 by 6 work per day. In case of Ben, again, Ben can do one piece of work in three days. So how much will he do in one day? So cross multiplication, one multiplied by one is one is equal to three multiplied by X, which is three X or x is equal to 1 divided by 3. So Ben can do 1 by 3 amount of work per day. So if we understand this, let's say we divide this log of wood in 6 parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So in one day, Andy will be able to do 1 out of 6 part. So in one day, Andy can do this. But in one day, Ben can do 1 by 3. So 1 by 3rd of 6 is 2. So Ben can complete this as well as this in one day. So if both of them are working for one day, how much will they be able to accomplish? So in one day, Andy plus Ben will be able to accomplish 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3. So the LCM is 6, 1 plus 3 twos are 6. So this is 3 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2. So if you divide both by 3, so 1 by 2. So in one day, both Andy and Ben can do half the work. So as we saw here, so out of 6, in one day, Andy can do one part, Ben can do two parts, which makes it three parts out of 6, which is half the work. So in one day, Andy and Ben can do half the work. So in how many days can they do complete work that is 1. So again cross multiplication. So half y is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 which is 1 or y is equal to so this 2 goes on the other side and becomes the numerator y is equal to 2 days. So both of them can complete the work in two days. Now let us look at another way of solving the same problem. So we have been given that the time taken by A, let's say it is TA, is six days. Time taken by B is three days. And we need to find out the time taken when both A and B are doing the same job. Now to find this T A plus B, we know that we can't compute in terms of days. So we can compute in terms of work done per day. So A's one day work is equal to 1 by 6 or 1 by TA. B's one day work is equal to 1 by 3 or 1 by TB. So A plus B's one day work is equal to 1 by TA plus 1 by TB. So this will be equal to, if we take the LCM here, we can simply put TA multiplied by TB as the LCM. So TA is already in the denominator. So TA multiplied by TB times is TA multiplied by TB. So this becomes TB here plus TB multiplied by TA is TA multiplied by TB. So this becomes TA here. So this is A plus B's one day work. Now in one day, A plus B can do this much work. So how many days will they take to do the complete work? So there we have to reverse this. So their number of days taken by a plus b is equal to the reverse of this which is t a multiplied by t b divided by t a plus t b this many days 
So in our case, if we use this formula, number of days taken by A plus B will be equal to TA which is 6 days multiplied by TB which is 3 days divided by TA6 plus TB3. 6 3s are 18 divided by 6 plus 3 9 so this is equal to 2 days. So if you have these numbers then you can directly use this formula to arrive at the solution.